Las Cruces City Council voted to restore funding for the Community of Hope to help house homeless veterans. The close to $23,000 that will help cover the loss in funding from the state comes from leftover funding from the 2015 to 2016 budget. Mayor Ken Miyagashima says it's important for the city to take care of those who served our country. So for them, for those who fall on hard times and, and unfortunately find themselves homeless, is something there that this council just didn't want to see happen. Uh, we felt that it was that important. Uh, they were there for us when, when we needed them and we're here for them now. Mesilla Valley Community of Hope Executive Director Nicole Martinez says the funding will help them continue to serve veterans. Primarily the funding uh, is used to help veterans who are currently homeless on the streets get into their own apartments. So the funding helps with first month's rent, security deposits, uh, utility assistance, utility arrears. Um, it, anything that is, has been proven to be a barrier uh, in terms of housing and keeping veterans homeless is, is what the, the funding will be able to help us overcome. The second grant, the Intervention for Supportive Services uh, for Veteran Families, is primarily used for mental health services for our homeless veterans. City Councilor Greg Smith says the city reached functional zero veterans homelessness last year, and this funding will help keep that title and improve on it. Functional zero right now doesn't mean we're going to be functional zero next year. And functional zero actually also means that we still have veterans who are on the streets, even though uh, we've said everyone who's sought that help is is able to is is in a home at the moment the reality is that there are some veterans either because they still don't know about it or because for whatever reason they've chosen not to avail themselves of it uh, are not in home so we, we still have a portion of our veteran population that that is not actually homed at this point missia valley community of hope is still accepting donations and for more information you can visit mvcommunityofhope.org for KRWG, I'm Samantha Sonner.